Hello everyone. In this video, we will discuss about projection of points. We will see how the projection of a single point located at various quadrants is obtained by solving simple problems. Before that, if you want to know the basics of orthographic projection, you may want to see these videos by clicking on the right top corner. The link is also in the description below. Let's try to solve a problem. A point A is 20 mm above HP and 30 mm in front of EP. Draw its projection. For solving this problem, let's imagine the point A which is 20 mm above the horizontal plane HP. It is also 30 mm in front of the vertical plane EP. That means the point is in the first quadrant. The front view is obtained by looking from this direction. The front view of the point A is a point and is obtained on the VP. We denote it as small letter A dash. This point A dash is 20 mm above the XY line, same as the distance the point A is from the HP. Another way of obtaining the front view is by extending the perpendicular visual ray from the point A to the vertical plane. The top view is obtained by looking from top. The top view is a point and it is obtained on the HP and denoted by small letter A. The distance between the actual point A and VP is same as the distance between the top view, small letter A and the XY line. We can also obtain the top view by extending a visual ray from the point A perpendicular to the horizontal plane. Now we have to rotate the HP clockwise 90 degrees and if we view from the front, this is the projection of the given point A. As you can see, the front view is above the XY line and top view is below the XY line. So for any object placed in the first quadrant, its front view will be above the XY line and top view will be below the XY line. Now let's solve another problem. A point B is 30 mm above HP and 10 mm behind VP. Draw its projection. Let's place this point B 30 mm above HP and at the same time 10 mm behind VP. That means the point is in the second quadrant. Now as always the front view is obtained by looking from this direction. Since the projection planes are transparent, we can see the front view of the point B in the vertical plane. The front view is denoted by small letter V dash. Alternatively, the front view can also be obtained by extending the visual ray perpendicular to VP from point B. The top view is obtained on HP by looking from this direction. The top view is denoted by small letter B. It can also be obtained by extending a visual ray from point B to the horizontal plane. When we rotate the horizontal plane clockwise 90 degree, and view from the front, this is the projection of the given point B. Note that since the point is in the second quadrant, both front view and top view are above the XY line. Let's move on to the third problem. A point C is 40 mm below HP and 30 mm behind VP. Draw its projection. Since this point is below HP and behind VP, it is in the third quadrant. As always, the front view is obtained on the vertical plane and is denoted by small letter C dash. Top view is obtained on the horizontal plane and it is denoted by small letter C. After rotating the HP clockwise, the projection of the point is obtained. Note that the front view is below the XY line and top view is above the XY line. Just opposite to the projection of points placed on the first quadrant. Now let's solve the fourth problem. A point D is 30 mm below HP and 20 mm in front of VP. Draw its projection. Since the point D is below HP and in front of VP, it is in the fourth quadrant. Its front view obtained on the vertical plane is denoted by small letter D dash. Top view is denoted by small letter D and it is obtained on the horizontal plane. After rotating the horizontal plane 90 degree clockwise, the projection looks like this. Note that both the front view and top view are below the XY line. 
just opposite to the case of point placed in the second quadrant. As a recap, we have a generalized orientation of top view and front view based on which quadrant the object is placed. If an object is placed in the first quadrant while drawing projection, its front view will be above the xy line and top view will be below the xy line. For objects in the second quadrant, both front view and top view will be above the xy line. If the object is in the third quadrant, its front view will be below the xy line and top view will be above the xy line. For an object in the fourth quadrant, both front view and top view will be below the xy line. We can also see a relationship between the distance between the given point and the principal planes and the distance between the projection and the xy line. If a point is above the horizontal plane, in front view we can see the point at the same distance above the xy line. For example, if a point is 20 mm above the horizontal plane, its front view will be 20 mm above the xy line irrespective of whether the point is in the first quadrant or second quadrant. Similarly, if a point is say 10 mm below horizontal plane, its front view will always be 10 mm below the xy line irrespective of whether the point is in third or fourth quadrant. Similarly, the distance between the given point and the vertical plane can be seen on top view. If a point is say 30 mm in front of vertical plane, its top view will be 30 mm below xy line irrespective of whether the point is in first or fourth quadrant. If a point is say 50 mm behind VP, the top view of the point will be 50 mm above xy line whether the point is in second or third quadrant. Hope you understood the concept. Thank you for watching.